Hi, my name is Flynn, and I'm here to talk to you about this book on dyslexia. It has several exercises that, that, that can help you with if, if you are dyslexic. In the English language, there, there are most of the words you can easily picture in your head. Tell me, do you know what an elephant looks like? Can, now, can you picture what that elephant looks like? This is what a clay elephant looks like. Now, can you picture a fish? Any kind of fish? But for me, I said a generic fish. So, picture this fish. Now, can you picture a fish upon an elephant? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be too hard. And that's simply done like this. But what? But what, what dyslexic people and most people actually have troubles with is picturing. What does a pond look like to you? What does a pond look like? For me, it is a ball upon a square. This is a pawn. This is a ball upon a square. Come. This hand going come. Come to me. Or up. An arrow pointing upwards. Or me. Which is me. Except for a bigger mohawk. Or front, front door. Sum, sum of this pie chart is filled. There's also most, most of this pie chart is filled. Left, me, me, me doing my fingers in the left, like that. Or one and two make three. Keyword here, and. Or off, a switch that is off, an off, off, keyword off. On, the exact opposite of it, but switch down, on. Except Another one we have is make. You make something with a hammer. But I, I also use the make hammer to go with another one, which is put. It is a rack where you put your hammer. Put. Also, we have same. These two, these two triangles are the same. And goes. This car goes along the road. This, this is mine. It's two hands around the box, grabbing it towards me. I'm saying, all this here is mine. It's all mine. And into an arrow pointing into a box. Into. Clockwise arrow, a go. All, always. The infinity sign is for always. Yeah. So, so the, the idea of this the idea of this exercise is to, is, is to give physical shapes to words to words that don't normally have those. And because all that we have before these exercises, when, when you come across a word that you can't think of the physical shape, you can't figure out what the meaning is, and, and then you trip. And, and when you trip that once, um, the rest of the sentence becomes out of context. So you tripping that once basically makes you go down the, makes you go like, rolling down the staircase until you don't understand what anything that that page has said at all. Mean 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 that you can't read. I mean that you can't read books or you can't read like um uh like information books or anything like that or pamphlets or anything like or anything like that. So that's the real purpose of this exercise. Has this helped Flynn doing this? Has this helped your reading? It has definitely helped my reading, yeah. In certain point. Thank you very much.